Hi, I'm Mark Gonfiati with Ronin, and I want to go over how to prepare your end, your rope tip, using the nylon or kern mantle rope. This rope here, the outer sheath will melt, and so there's a little bit of a different procedure on this than your Technora sheath. So let me go ahead and go through this using our uh, tip adapter, which can be adapted to any soldering iron with the filament tip, and then also a second method that you can use, which is with the torch. First, I'm gonna go ahead and make a fresh cut on the tip of the rope. When you wrap the tape around the rope, you're gonna to wanna to wrap it loosely because after we make the first cut, we're actually gonna eject some of the inner core out. And if you wrap it really tight, it's gonna grab that inner core and you're not gonna have an easy time to get the center core out. So once we have a fresh cut, the tape is gonna keep the outer sheath from fraying. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull down on this outer jacket and it's gonna eject the inner core out. Once you have enough that you can grab, go ahead and pull some of the inner core out. And then we're gonna take another piece of tape and we're gonna wrap it around the inner core to cut off the tape with. When you wrap it around the inner core, this one you wanna wrap tight so it makes it easier to cut. Once you tape about, cut about a tape width off, you can go ahead and remove the excess tape on the end of the inner, inner core. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt this milk, the jacket, and it's gonna suck the inner core into the sheath. With the inner core sucked down into the sheath, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our soldering iron, which has our rope tip adapter on it. And it takes about 90 seconds for this to heat up, so just give it a few seconds here. While this is heating up, I'll go ahead and explain what we're gonna do with it. So what we're gonna do is once the tip is heated up, we're gonna go ahead and press it over the end of the sheath here. And so as the sheath starts to melt, it's gonna pull in, and then this actual cap here is gonna create a cap on the end of the rope here. So once this heats up, I'll show you how we do that. It takes about 90 seconds, so. Okay, go ahead and give it a shot here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the outside here and we're gonna kind of sweep around the rope, capturing the outer diameter into the center of the burn tip. Once you're able to melt it down into the center, we're gonna go ahead and press and hold. You'll start to see around the edges kind of some of either the um, tape melting or some of the outer sheath kind of squeezing out from the tip. Once you've held it on for 30 to 40 seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the towel and swipe it around it to get the tape off. Now after we have this initial melt, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to shape this. And really what we're doing is as we're shaping this is we're closing the center of the rope over itself so that way the inner core cannot eject out when you're feeding it through the device. So once you have completely melted the outer sheath enough to fully encapsulate the inner core, what you end up with is a tip that looks like this. And now your tip has fully sealed the inner core out. So when the rope is going through the device, that rope cannot come out and then jam up in your system. 
The next method that I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do is the same thing, except instead of using our rope tip adapter, we're gonna go ahead and use the blowtorch. Same thing, the very first piece of tape we put on, we wanna wrap it lightly so we can get the inner core ejected out easily. And then like we did before, we'll eject the inner core out by pulling down on the sheath. And then once we can get a grip of it, we'll pull some of the inner core out. Like we did before, we can wrap this one tightly, so that way it's easier to cut. And then we'll cut the tape width off. Once we have that tape width off, we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the tape on the end, any remaining tape, and then we'll go ahead and milk the outer sheath to suck the inner core back in. Now what's different about this from the rope tip adapter, the rope tip adapter, we just started melting this outer sheath until it capped the rope. With the blowtorch, it's just gonna melt a lot of this sheath, and then what we're gonna do is use the towel to squeeze it and pull the tape off and create that cap instead. And I'm twisting it and kind of pushing it together to kind of make that cone shape when I'm hitting it with the torch. And so what I'm doing is I'm pinching the tip here and folding the melted outer sheath into the center to create that cap so it fully caps the inner core inside of the rope itself. You may need to hit it a couple times and like before you want to hit it as much on the top as possible because you don't want the rope to harden down the length of the rope so you just want to get the tip as much as possible. And so that last kind of burn there, I was just shaping the tip. And you can see that the tip of it is now fully encapsulated by the outer sheath and there's no inner core showing. And so this is ready for feeding through your Ronin lift.